Hey guys, welcome back again for another great workout class. For today's session, you are here for your cardio and Pilates class. Of course, a cardio is low impact. So the way the class is structured is that we're gonna start with our warm-up portion, which includes ab work and bridge work, and then we're gonna move on to the cardio portion. Now for the cardio portion, there are two different sections with three different exercises that are repeated twice. It'll make sense once you start moving. And then we're gonna end with some more of a cool down workout. So go ahead and grab your mat and let's go ahead and get started. started now with the warm-up portion before we go into our cardio portion so here we go we're going to start by lying down on our backs your feet are hip width apart and your toes will be pointed to start reach the arms up high towards the ceiling and draw your ribcage in nice and tight here we go let's move exhale press down lift your chest inhale lower exhale press down lift that chest inhale lower good now as you're curling up and down you're thinking about reaching beyond those fingertips and drawing in your core in nice and tight, right? At any point, if you start to feel this behind your neck, feel free to bring one or both hands behind your head. That's okay as well. Otherwise, try to reach beyond those arms, keep your core in nice and tight, and breathe. Good. Three more times, just the same. Big exhale, two. And now last one, you're going to hold it up high for me, float the right leg to tabletop, let's toe tap, right toe down, left toe down, we got switch and switch, and as we are tapping your toes, you're focusing on keeping your upper body rock solid as you are just mobilizing your lower body, right, which means your lower abs are engaged to mobilize those legs as the upper abs are working to stabilize that torso. Good, you got three more here. Breathing, chip, and the last one, both legs go to tabletop and curl at center. So you go up and up, and as you are curling center, reach far out with the arms, draw those abs in a lot tighter, four, three, four, two, hold it up high. Now bring the arms down, keep your legs at tabletop, circle the arms behind your head, elbows wide to the side, repeat that again, here we go. Exhale, curl, lift your chest, inhale, lower, Keeping your elbows wide to the side, friends. Leading with that center of your chest and drawing in your belly nice and tight, right? Try not to bring your elbows together. You wanna keep the elbows wide to the side. Let's do that four more times. Using your exhale to guide you for three. Now just two more. And the last one, hold it up high and stay there. Shoot the right leg out. Let's alternate, it's reach and reach. So once again, your upper body is rock solid as you are mobilizing that lower body. It's reach and reach far out with those toes. Chest is still lifted. Core is tight. Good. Twice more. And then last one. Keep both your legs straight. Curl at center to finish. It's up and up. At any point if this becomes too much, legs tabletop will be okay as well. Otherwise, shoot the legs out nice and long. Four, five, breathing four, exhale three. You got two, last one, this one, and relax it down. Okay guys, take your feet out as wide as your mat and externally rotate your feet out. And fold your heel in a little bit closer towards your glutes than usual. Actively press the arms down. You're gonna lift the hips up into a bridge and hold. From here, lift the heels up and lower the heels down. Heels go up, heels go down. Now as you are doing this, focus on keeping your rib cage knitted, right? You don't want to splay your rib cage out. Everything is nice and tight and engaged while you're working out the back of your body. Your glutes and your hamstring muscles are working. Good. It's up and down. Twice more here. And then last one, let's meet with the heels up high, lower your hips halfway down, and then exhale, push back up. Hips halfway down, and then exhale, push back up. And as you're doing so, you're stretching out the front of the hips while you're sculpting out the back of your body. Big exhale up, big inhale down, and also think about actively pressing your arms down so that your triceps and your lats are working. Twice more, friends. Last one, hold your hips up high. 
Your knees will go out an inch and then back to where we started. Out an inch and back to where we started. Slow and controlled movement, friends. I don't want you guys to use momentum. I want you to focus on engaging your outer glutes and your outer thighs to make that movement happen. Good. We open back to where we started twice more. And then last one, keep the legs back to where we started. Take both arms up high and then lower back down. It's up and down. So isometric hold with that lower body as you are mobilizing your upper body. But the longer we hold, the more pressure we're building in your calves to hold the heels up high, in your hamstrings, and also your glutes. Especially your outer glutes, friends, you're doing great. Three more. You're breathing. Two. Last one, hold the arms up high and let's pump those hips up. It's up and up. And as you're pumping your hips up, think about squeezing your glutes together to get that booty up, right? So you go up and up. Five more, five, breathing four. Exhale, three, lift it, seat two. Last one, hold it up high. And then super slowly articulate back down and then bring the heels down, relax. Woo, good job, guys. All right, shoot the legs out for our roll up. Now, if rolling up isn't available to you, feel free to bring your knees and bend them for me. That's okay as well. Otherwise, keep the legs straight, toes are pointed, arms go overhead. Here we go. Chin to chest. Reach your hands. Show me your deep C curve first before you lengthen out your spine, and then super slowly, C curve again, roll yourself down bone by bone. The slower you go, the more challenging it will be. Again, here we go. Chin to chest, draw the abs in, reach the hands, show me your deep C curve, good, and then lengthen out your spine, top of the head reaching the ceiling, and then lower right back down, good friends. Now for our next variation option to lift the right toe up. Here we go again. Chin to chest, reach your hands, scoop your belly, show me your C curve, lengthen out your back, bring that right foot down, arms go behind your head. Let's rotate to the right, so here we go. Exhale, rotate to the right, then back to center, rotate to the right, and back to center. Now notice how my hips are not rotating or just my shoulder. You're thinking about rotating your rib cage so that your obliques are working and that you're making that waistline work, right? So big exhale, rotate, big inhale, center. Three more, just the same. Big exhale, tip. And then last one, hold the rotation and pulse it. You got rotate and rotate. So we're sculpting out your waistline, right? Draw your abs in nice and tight. Reach your toes, energy through those legs. Four, three, four, two. Last one, back to center. Reach your arms forward, right toe comes up again, and let's head back down. Tilt that tailbone, draw your abs in, slow and controlled, good. Arms go up, leg goes down, left side, here we go. Toe comes off, reach your hands, chin to chest, scoop your belly, show me your deep C curve, and then lengthen out your back, now bring that foot down, hands behind your head, let's rotate to the left side. Exhale, rotate, inhale, center. Exhale, rotate, inhale, center. Now once again, it doesn't matter how much you rotate. I really want you to focus on finding the rotation from what we call the thoracic spine, which for you guys, it would be that rib cage portion, right? So not just the elbows or the hips, but the rib cage so that your obliques are working so much more. Get three more. Exhale, three. You got two. Last one, let's pulse it. You got pulse and pulse, and as you are pulsing and rotating, hips are rock solid. As you are mobilizing your upper body, my obliques are on fire, friends. Five more, you got five, four, breathing three, exhale two, last one, back to center, reach your arms forward, right toe comes off, sorry, left toe comes off, and then head back down, tilt that pelvis, roll yourself all the way down, and then relax it down. Good job, guys. All right, roll on over to your right side as we're gonna go ahead and get started now on that cardio portion. So here we go. We're gonna start with the right elbow. 
down onto the ground, so shoulder is over the elbow, stack the hips, stack the knees, top arm to your hip whenever you are ready, lift the hips up and hold. Now lift your top leg and extend that leg out, reach that left arm up high, we're going to start by moving that left leg. So bend your knee in towards your chest and reach it out. Exhale, bend, inhale, reach. And as you are doing this, remember, even though we're moving that right leg, I want you to focus on what the left side of your body is doing. Is your left oblique engaged? Is your left booty working? Are you pushing away from that left forearm as we are mobilizing that right leg? Good, so exhale to bend, inhale to reach. On the next one, when you extend the leg out, lower the arm, so arm goes down, leg goes out, leg bend, arm goes up. Good, hello coordination, right? And hello balance. So really focus on co-constracting your abs and your glutes to stabilize your body, specifically your hips and your torso as you are mobilizing the arms. Hang in there, friends, three more. You're breathing, chip. And then last one, keep that leg bent, just move the arm lower down, and reach up, lower down, and reach up. Remember your top leg is up at hip height. Don't let it go down. Actively push away from your forearms for the last three seconds. Good, give me two more. All right, last one, hold it forward. Isometric hold, don't move. Just breathe and plank strong for five. Holding four, you got three, two, last one. Woo, relax it down, all right. That was the first out of your three exercise. Second exercise, we're gonna go into a center plank. So, your shoulders will be over the wrist. You're gonna shoot the legs back, find your plank position and hold. From here, shift your hips back, right? And then come back forward to your plank. Again, you shift your hips back and then you shift forward. Inhale back, exhale forward, getting your heart rate up. Right, and as you are doing this, you're drawing in your core nice and tight. So you take it back and back forward. Three more. You're breathing for two. And then last one, hold the bent. Walk your hands back so they're directly below the shoulders and you're in your plank prep. Last few seconds, tap your thighs. Tap one thigh, then the other. It's tap and tap. Core tight, body strong, five more, here we go. You got five, four, three, two, last one. Knees go down, hit that child's pose and relax. All right guys, let's go ahead and stand on up for our third exercise. So this third cardio exercise will be standing. So your feet will be as wide as your hips and parallel right or a little bit wider is fine we're going to squat down here we go so squat your seat down and come back up squat your seat down and back up so inhale down exhale up and as you come back up squeeze your glute right i'm going to go sideways real quick when you squat down i want you to think about reaching your tailbone back super important draw your abs in and also keep your knees right behind your toes Right, squat it down and back up twice more. After this next one, right leg goes up. So right leg up and back down. Left leg up and back down. Continue marching, friends, here. As you're doing this, focus on keeping your core in nice and tight. It's your core that's lifting that leg up high. Exhale up, inhale down. Keep breathing, keep moving and don't give up on me. Let's do it two more times to each side. Here we go. You got two. Woo, heart rate going up. Losing my breath. Last one. Guess what? Hold your squat. Isometric hold, let's pulse it down. So you go down and down. Getting those legs nice and shaky for five, four, woo, three, two, last one. Oh my gosh, stand on up, relax. Okay guys, guess what? We're gonna repeat that all again on the second side. You got this, here we go. So, lowering down to your left side. This time your left elbow will be down, shoulder is over the elbow. Stack the hips, stack the knees, 
Top arm will reach up high to the ceiling and lift your hips up high. Now shoot that right leg out, here we go. So your right leg bends and extends, right leg bends and extends. Now as you guys are mobilizing that right leg, I want you guys to also focus on what your left side is doing. Check in with that left oblique, check in with that left outer booty. I want you guys to lift that side up high because gravity is working against you, it's trying to push you down but you're gonna recruit the left side of your body, squeeze that side of your muscles to lift your body up high, right? Good, friends, so exhale to bend, inhale, extend. Whenever you're ready, we're gonna add the arm. Here we go, leg shoots out, arm goes down, leg bends, arms go up. Inhale, reach, exhale, bend. Hello, coordination, hello, balance. My left side is on fire. Right, friends, keep your rib cage closed for me and actively push away from that bottom forearm. Good, friends. Oh, I lost some my train of thought right there as I was talking. Opposite arm as the leg comes in. Good. All right, friends, in the next one, keep the leg bent. Just move the arm. Bring it down and back up. Bring it down and back up. Hello, coordination. Holding your balance once again. Three more seconds. Good, you got two. Last one, hold it down and breathe. Four, five, push away, four, three, two. Last one, and relax, all right. So let's go back into that plank exercise. Shoulders are over the wrist, shoot the legs far behind, and hold from here. Shift your hips back, and take it forward. Shift those hips back, and take it forward. So exhale, bend, inhale, extend. Really squeezing those glutes, drawing those abs in, pushing away from those wrists. Super, super important. Try to keep your head in line. Good, three more. Breathing. Exhale, two. And then last one, hold your bend, shift your hands back and hold. Back into our plank prep. From here, tap one thigh, then the other. We got tap and tap. You're looking strong, everyone, if I can see you, right? Pushing away from the wrists, drawing in your core nice and tight. Don't give up on me. Five more, here we go. Five, four, three, two, last one. Knees go down, hit that child's pose. Relax, woo! All right, friends, go ahead and stand back up. You know what's next? Third and final exercise, back to your squats. So whenever you are ready, your feet will go as wide as the hips or a little wider. Now, squat it down and come back up. Squat yourself down and come back up. Now as you are squatting down, again, you're taking your seat back, you're keeping your core tight. Super important that you're tracking your knees over that second and third toe so you protect your knee joints. Whenever you are ready, we're gonna add that march. Join me, here we go. Left leg goes up and back down. Right leg up and back down. So use your core to bring that leg up high and squeeze the abs tight so that you're not gripping in your hip flexors, but rather you're using those abs. It's up, back down, good. Twice more on each side. Right, breathing, last one. All right, hold it down and squat it down. You go down and down. Get those legs nice and shaky for me, everyone. You got five, pulse four, breathing three, two, last one. Stand back up, awesome job, guys. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and move on now to our second portion of our cardio exercises. Three new exercise, here we go, let's get it done. So you're gonna lower back down onto your mat, back down to your right, Elbow, shoulders over the elbow, shoot the right leg out, left foot is flat, top arm will go behind your head. Now lift your hips up and hold. Now you can stay here and do the rest of the movement, otherwise if you can, stack the legs. Now let's rotate your upper body. Exhale, rotate, inhale, center, exhale, rotate, inhale, center. Now friends, as you are doing this, notice how stable my pelvis is. So you're trying not to rotate your pelvis with your upper body. So it's just your upper body rotating so that your obliques are working that much more. 
exhale, rotate, inhale, center. If this is too challenging for you, you also have the option to bend the knees as you are doing the upper body movement. Otherwise, try to keep those legs straight. Exhale, rotate, inhale, center, twice more. Good, last one, hold the rotation and pulse, and pulse. Last five seconds. Option to float that left leg up for five, four, breathing three, exhale two, last one. Oh my gosh, relax. My right side was on fire. All right, second exercise, stand back up. Your feet this time will be externally rotated and as wide as your shoulders. We're gonna bring both hands behind your head. Here we go, lower your seat down and then back up. Inhale down, exhale up. So with our previous squat exercise, we were actually taking our hips back. But with this one, I actually want you to keep your back completely straight. Your tailbone is reaching directly down. So imagine your back is sliding up and down a wall. Inhale down, exhale up, making sure your knees are still tracking over that second and third toe, right? Good, twice more. And then last one, hold it down for me. You're gonna rotate to the right side and bring it center. Exhale, rotate right side, inhale, center. Keep going just the same, friends. As you are doing this, remember, both your hip bones rock solid. Imagine you have two headlights on your hips, so it's flashing the lights forward as you are rotating your upper body. Three more, you got this. Two, last one, hold the rotation. Lift your right ankle up and pulse it down. So you go down and down. Check out on that left knee. Make sure it's still pressing back, tracking over that second and third toe. Five more, five, breathing four. Exhale three, you got two. Last one, and stand back up. Good job, guys. Going into our third exercise. We're gonna go into that lunge. So that left leg will go forward, actually. You're gonna shoot that leg back down, and then come back up. Inhale down, exhale up. Keep going, friends. I'm gonna demonstrate it real quick to the side. As that right leg goes back, you wanna make sure the knee is reaching down. So both legs are bent at a 90 degree angle, right? So you go down and back up, keeping your core tight, reaching that back quad as low as you can. Of course, listen to what your body can do today. Good, twice more. Breathing. Last one, hold it bent. Now extend both your legs straight and take it down. Both legs straight and back down. Exhale up. Inhale down, feeling your back booty activating by lifting that back heel up high over your toe. Good, twice more friends. Last one, we're gonna head back down and pulse it down. So you go down and down. This time reach your arms forward as you're pulsing down for five, quads on fire, right? Three, two, last one. Stand back up, smack your quads. Good job guys, guess what? Repeat that one more time on the second side. You got this, friends. After this, we're essentially done with the cardio portion, so don't give up on me. Shoulder, left shoulder over the left elbow. Stack the hips. Extend that bottom leg straight. Back foot is flat. Now lift up and hold. You can stay here or stack the legs. Top arm behind your head. Let's rotate. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, center. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, center. My left side is my weak side, so I'm definitely feeling a lot more shaky, right? Remember, your hips do not rotate with your upper body. Both your hip bones stay squared towards the front. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, center. Left side is lifted and rock solid. Three more. You got this front. Exhale, two. Last one, hold the rotation and pulse and pulse last five seconds. Option to float that right leg up for five, four, woo, three, two, last one, and relax. Good job, guys. Almost lost my balance there, but let's stand up and move on to your second exercise. Your feet as wide as your mat. Externally rotated, both hands behind your head. Let's get low. Squat it down and back up. 
Inhale down, exhale up. Once again, draw your abs in nice and tight. Rib cage is knitted. Imagine you're sliding up and down a wall with your back, which means don't hinge your torso forward. Right? Woo. Keep breathing, friends. Inhale down, exhale up. Making sure your knees are tracking over that second and third toe. So don't let it collapse forward. We want to take care of your knee joints. Good. Three more. You got two. And then last one. Hold it down. Rotate right and back to center. Rotate right. Bring it center. Now as you are rotating, once again, keep both your hip bones squared. Just your rib cage is rotating right. So your obliques are working that much more. Good. Twice more. And then last one, hold the rotation. Lift that left ankle up and pulse it down. So you got pulse and pulse. Getting those legs nice and shaky. Of course, bring that right leg back. Tracking over your toes. Five more seconds. You got five. Four. Can you get lower? Three. Rotate more. Two. Last one. Woo. Stand back up. Third and final exercise, guys. You got this. This time your right foot is forward. Left leg will shoot back and then come back up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Now, as that back leg comes up, I want you to think about driving that right heel down so that right booty is working. And as that left leg goes back, you're squeezing your left glute, right? Big exhale up, big inhale down. It's your last cardio exercise, friends. So don't give up on me. Let's finish strong together. I promise I'm working out here as well. I'm not just faking it. Good, you go down and back up twice more. Last one, hold it down. Now extend both legs straight and take it down. Both legs straight and take it down. Now both your legs are extending and I want you to imagine you're creating a 90 degree angle with both your legs and your back heel is lifted up high for me. Three more, abs are tight. You got two, good. Last one, head back down and hold it down for me. You got pulse. And pulse. So this time, take the arms wide out to the side, lunging proud and long for five, four, three, two, last one. Woo! Stand back up, smack the quads. Awesome job, guys. That's it for your cardio portion. We're gonna head back down for our cool down slash still working out, right? So here we go. So you're gonna lie on your back. More ab work, right? You're gonna take your legs, feet hip width apart and parallel. Circle the arms behind your head. Back to that chest lift. Exhale, curl. Inhale, lower. So essentially what we're doing with this very last portion of class is that we're still working out, but we're gonna slow your heart rate down for that final cool down. Exhale up, inhale down. Twice more. Last one, hold it up high. Point your toes, both legs tabletop and then dip them down. Exhale up, inhale down. Let's go ahead and zip up your legs as well so that your inner thigh muscles are also working. Your upper abs are working to keep your chest lifted. Lower abs are engaged to mobilize the legs. Exhale up, inhale down, twice more. Good, last one, and curl the center, reaching the arms forward. Shoot the legs out at an angle, five more. Exhale, five. Four, three, two, last one. Relax it down. We're gonna zip up your legs. Go into your Pilates V, which means heels are glued. Toes are separate, back to bridging. Tilt your pelvis, lift the hips all the way up, and then bring it back down. So with this diamond shaped bridge, I really want you to challenge yourself to keep your heels glued so that you're rotating and maintaining the shape. Now, as you go up, keep that rib cage closed. It's an articulated bridge, so I want you to imprint every single bone in your back. Big exhale, lift the hips up high. Big inhale, back down. Let's do that twice more. Working your glutes, working your quads. And then last one, friends, here we go. Lift the hips up high and hold. Now pump your hips up, so you go up. And up, continue pumping. Can you hover your arms an inch off the mat? So it's all about your outer glutes and outer thighs working here for five, 
four, exhale, three, exhale, two, last one, hold up high, and then lower back down. Final exercise, quickly flip around for some back work. Here we go. On your stomach, you're going to stack your hands, you're going to bring your heels together, toes are separate again, and now tilt your pelvis, draw your abs in, bring your forehead down to your hands. From here, I'm going to keep my head lifted so you can hear me. Press the heels up at an angle and back down. Exhale up, inhale down. Once again, working out your outer glutes, right? Pressing the heels together, keeping your core in nice and tight. You don't want to arch your low back. Now, if your head is down, bring your head up for me as well. Big exhale up, big inhale down. Twice more. Good. Last one, hold and lift it. Right arm out, left arm out, just swim the arm, swim and swim. Notice that my quads are hovering a centimeter off the mat as I'm swimming my upper body for five, swimming four, exhale three, you got two, last one, hands go down, hit that child pose, friends, awesome job, relax. Woo! Go ahead and bring yourself up, let's do two cat cows to finish. Here we go. Shoulders are over the wrist. Your knees are below your hips. Tilt your tailbone. Draw your abs in. Bring your pelvis back to neutral. Open up your upper body. Again, tilt your tailbone. Draw those abs in. Pelvis back to neutral. And open up your upper body. And hit that child's pose. Relax as long as you would like. And that is class, guys. Thanks again for joining me for another great workout. If you are really enjoying the classes and you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can join my Pilates family, my fit family. And if you really like the class, hit that like button so I know what you guys are enjoying and also I can reach more people out on YouTube. Otherwise, guys, have an amazing day and I will see you guys for my next workout.